Yo, what is up guys? Guido here back again with another mini bike video and in this series of revamping my first mini bike I ever built. As you guys already saw, we did a bunch of stuff to the motor, got it all together, ready to go. The other video you guys saw, we got the bike all back together after uh, rewelding on the frame, making sure it's copacetic, repainting some stuff, doing some touch up paint, and also installing the motor along with the rear wheel again. Um, and now in this video, we are going to be working on the cockpit here. So now, as you guys know, um, I used to have a stereo system with this whole mini bike here. It was all connected all together and stuff. I since stripped all the wires out and stuff. Anyways, I had my speakers here mounted and welded to the handlebars. And I know that sounds stupid, but they didn't make any clamps for this diameter uh, handlebar here that I could just clamp up and it was a direct fit to the speaker. I could have done something different, but I don't really like these bars anyways. So I was like, well, whatever, I'm just gonna weld them on there. And then if I ever wanna take them off, I'm just gonna get new bars, it's not a big deal. Um, so as you guys can see the welds where it was connected and then this side part of the speaker is still connected You'll there's a little teaser. Um, I kicked the speaker off in one of my videos you guys will end up seeing um, But they were just they were cool. They were, it was kind of more of a, you know <clears throat> A funny thing to have than they really were, you know legit legit if that makes sense um, but pretty much the issue I was having was the speaker actually cracked and was coming loose not even the bracket it was the actual speaker the plastic was coming out um but anyways cut to the chase here um these handlebars they're just a little bit too big um i think for this setup that i'm going with on here and then of course they're just they're kind of these are just chump I, I don't really like them i think they're just kind of a little ugly they're i feel like in between of they need to be a little bit taller or they either need to be shorter like it's just they're trying to be in the middle and i don't really like them um, so I'm going to be redoing the whole entire cockpit. I have new bars, new uh, grips, just because I'm taking all this off. I might as well put new grips on there. I have a new mirror, so I'll have a new mirror set up as well. Um, and I also have a uh, new handlebar risers as well, just to rise it up a little bit. And also these ones look really nice. And then the cherry on top of it all, I got a uh, Amazon quick, tw quick twist race throttle or whatnot. Um, that I'm going to be installing on here. It's all aluminum, so it should be real nice and smooth um, when I'm giving it gas and stuff. Plus, the cable is uh, silver, which I think will look really cool and accent the chrome stuff very well. So check it out. I went with these all-black Pro Taper Sport. Uh, I guess you could call them lower-rise bars. The other Pro Tapers I have are even lower. So these are like kind of the next step up from that. Um, but I am going to be pairing it up with some handlebar risers as well. So I think that'll give me about the perfect height I want um within riser and also handlebars um so i think that'll look super cool it'll kind of refresh up the you know whole front of this up i think very nicely i also got the quick twist race throttle i was telling you guys about super duper cool all aluminum this thing should be pretty legit along with a new throttle cable which i already stated is like the braided uh silver and stuff like that so that'll look really cool i think i got the pro taper pill top grips these are already the same ones that i'm running on here um they're just new because i'm getting you know new bars i might as well put new grips on there although these are still in pretty decent condition i might as well put new grips on there i really like these pillow top grips um i'm not sponsored or anything but i just really like them i think the design's really nice and they're pretty comfy i'm running them on this bike which is going to be like my you know daily street runner and then i'm also running them on my drag bike over here which you guys have seen the videos on um, and yeah, I just really like them. So I'm running those grips as well. And then also too, I got mirrors. I'm only going to be using one of these mirrors on this project. I'm not going to be using two. Um, but I think this will look a lot better than this mirror here. They're going to go on the end caps here. So like I said, I think I'm just going to do the left side. Um, but it's going to look way more lower profile. I think it's going to look a lot better, more kind of cafe racer style, if you will, um, than this. I just, I never really liked the style from the start. Um, it's just kind of in the way I feel like it's just too big and bulky. And I mean, it's just kind of, I don't know. I think that it's going to look a lot better. Um, and I think it's going to work a little bit better for me. So might as well just get started on this. The first thing I'm going to go ahead and do, I'm going to remove my throttle cable here. As you guys see, it's connected down here on my carburetor. So I can just twist and loosen this and remove the slide and the needle out. That's our first step here. So I'll just remove this and set that to the side there. Now, time to go ahead and undo the Allen bolts here holding on the stock throttle. All right, with those Allen bolts loose, this throttle cable can simply 
just slide off the bars just like this and then we can go ahead and snake the whole throttle cable out of the bike. Now that the throttle cable is removed, I'm gonna go ahead and remove my kill switch because I am gonna need to switch this on over um, to my new handlebars. bars. And you can see it just takes two Phillips head screws. All right, I'm not even gonna bother messing with the mirror just because it's just gonna stay on these bars. Um, I removed my kill switch, just loosened it, slid it off. Now I'm gonna go ahead and remove my uh, hydraulic brake lever, which just uses two eight millimeter bolts. All right, now with the brake lever removed, I can kind of just let this dangle just down out of the way. And now I can go ahead and remove my bolts and nuts holding these bars on. All right, then these are the new bolts for the clamps here. Um, and these should work perfectly. I'm actually gonna go ahead and just trim some of these threads just a little bit because it's just gonna be poking out a lot and I don't need the extra thread just sticking out. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just trim them down just a little bit. All right, and with these bolts being shortened just enough, um, it should be perfect fitting it uh, for um, the handlebars, the mounts, and the front suspension. I don't want like a bunch more studs sticking out. It's just gonna look stupid. So I trimmed it to fit. It should be legit. Um, and now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead, like I said, and remove uh, these bolts and nuts. All right, and check it out. I got the old bars off and it's kind of hard to do this while filming and stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and install my new risers and my bars. All right, and would you check it out? We got the bars all installed, all adjusted the way I need them to. I think they look absolutely sick. I think it really, really complements the bike very well, especially the risers look really cool. Um, plus with, I would say the medium sized bars and then these bigger risers, I think it gives me the perfect amount of distance I need with my uh, knees. And then also too, just the height I think looks really well. Um, also these bars, you can kind of see that they're flared up quite a bit. So that's also a lot of, uh, clearance here for my knees. People that don't know I'm six foot one. So, um, riding on these little bikes, is kind of hard if you have bars that are down low and it's in the way you can't really turn. Um, so having those bars on there is really nice that are angled up. There's more room. I was thinking about maybe cutting them down just a little bit cause they're kind of long. Uh, they're 32 inches from side to side. Um, but I don't know, I, I kind of like how big it looks. And when I was kind of just sitting on it, mocking it up, it feels actually really, really comfortable. So I think I'm gonna just leave them the length that they are. And then plus if I ever need to add like different mirrors or whatnot, um, I always have the room on the handlebars to mount them. So it's all installed, all nice and tight. You can see how I went and cut the studs off. So it's, it's nice and flush and it looks really good. I'm happy with it. So the next thing I'm going to go ahead and do is I'm going to reinstall my brake lever that I took off. All right, I think I'm actually gonna, what I'm gonna do first before I install my brake is I'm gonna go ahead and install the grip so I can see how far over the brake needs to go. I got the Pro Taper pillow, pillow top grips, like I already said. Um, if you actually look at them, you can see this hole's bigger and this one's smaller. The smaller one is gonna go on the side where your brake and stuff is where your throttle isn't. The bigger one's gonna slide on over uh, your throttle there. So it's pretty much, you know, easy as just sliding it on over. I'm gonna go ahead and wet this, maybe get some Dawn dish soap in there, just so it can slide over just a little bit easier. And then it, of course it'll evaporate and stuff and then it will, you know, stay strong and stay intact on those bars. All right, and I got my grip on there. Like I said, really easy, just put some Dawn dish soap on there. And I mean, it'll slide straight on and then just either put it in the sun or whatnot. And after an hour or so, it'll be all hot and dried in there and your grip's gonna be on there nice and nice and tight. Um, so now that that's on there, I can kind of see where the brake lever is going to go ahead and go. Also, I, off camera, I went and cut these a little bit shorter. Um, I took about an inch and a half off. I just felt that they were just a little bit too wide. And then just with having that extra mirror on there, it's going to bring it out even more. So um, I just decided to just cut them a little bit shorter. And I think it definitely looks a lot better now. All right. And check it out. The brake is all nice and tight and installed, ready to go. Now I'm going to go ahead and reinstall my kill switch here which like i said it just got loosened by the uh, phillips head screws and now i'm just going to slide it back on over the bars and put it to where i want it all right and then i'm going to go ahead and install my throttle so i'm going to install this whole assembly here um so this along with the throttle cable here so what i'm going to go ahead and do is i'm just going to take off these two flathead uh screws there and then i'm able to slide um this whole side pretty much out so then i can go and install a throttle cable 
and then run it through uh, this whole entire thing. I'm also gonna go ahead and lube this up. How these quick throttles work um, is there's a little bearing there on this wheel, so it's just a quicker, you know, feeling when you're ripping it and stuff like that. Um, and it's much smoother than your just conventional, you know, <laughs> throttle cable here. These are just way better. They're aluminum, they got the ball bearings in it, so it's just really, really smooth. So I'm also gonna probably spray some WD-40 on there just a little bit and make sure it's, you know, a nice, smooth action. All right, so you can see I took out the little glass, the wheel, so then I can go ahead and slide um, the throttle cable through, thread it in there, and then it'll come out on this side, which then I can go ahead and install um, in the position there. All right, so you can check it out. I got the throttle all installed. I got it the way it needs to be positioned, and it's all ready to go, all adjusted, and this is the same amount that is on that one. So now all I have to do is just swap the top hat and the carburetor parts from that one to this one here. All right, and the carburetor parts are on the new throttle cable. It's kind of hard to film, but it's pretty simple. You just have to pull back on this spring here so then there's no resistance, and then you can see the end where the throttle cable goes in. Um, you have to just snake it through this uh, cutout section there, and then it'll come straight out. You can put it on the new one. And then same with the top here, uh, your little cover, and then your top hat will just slide straight off of the old uh, throttle cable there and then just go on to your new one. So now that that's all assembled, I can go ahead and install it on the motor. All right, and check it out. I got it all tight, all installed. I also pushed over my kill switch, so it's all in line. But yeah, the cable looks super duper sick. It's routed the way I needed to. Once I put the seat on here, I'll put a zip tie and stuff and make sure it's all nice and tight. But um, this is really nice, really nice quality. It's red. I think it really makes everything pop and it's super duper smooth. I mean, It's so smooth. You're not going to get that from your regular plastic ones. Anytime you do install a new throttle cable, always take off your air filter and check the position your carb is at. You can see the slide is all the way down like it should be. Sometimes your cable can get, you know, binded and all messed up. Um, and it'll actually be stuck up in the up position. So when you go to pull start your bike, it takes off from you. That's also why it's always good practice when you do something like this too, even if it, you know, looks like it's okay right there. Um, always put it up against a, like a block wall or something so the bike doesn't run off just in case if, you know, that is the case or whatnot. But you can see it's all installed and let's see if it'll focus. You can see the slide moves exactly the way it needs to and it is 100% legit. So now I can throw my air filter back on and install the grip on this side. All right, and now that the air filter is back on, I'm gonna go ahead and install my grip. Like I said, this is the bigger, wider one. Um, and it says R on there too for right side. Um, so now I'm just gonna probably throw some more Dawn dish soap on this too, like I did the other side and slip it on on. All right, and just like that, the whole entire cockpit is all installed. One last thing is to install that mirror, which I'm gonna do on this side. Um, I think it just kind of depends which side it might be more effective. Um, I'm in the US of course, so we drive on the right side of the road. So it kind of just depends. This might be a little bit better because it's going to give me more of a wider and broader view of what's behind me. I mean, it really doesn't matter. These bikes are so small that really it's not going to be one or the other. Um, but I had it on the right side before, which I could still install it on this side, but that has the whole rotating assembly. I think it's just going to be a little bit easier, better and out of the way if it's on this side. Plus this bike gets stored and propped up against the wall on this side. So I think this side is going to be the winner. All right. And then here's the mirror. I just took off one of the shims because... Um, the inner uh, diameter of these handlebars is much thinner than like the stock ones were. So there was a bigger shim on there. I took it off because I'm not going to need it. Um, and then now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut a little circle on the end cap of that handlebar there. All right. And would you check that out? The whole cockpit is pretty much finished. Just got to tidy up some cables and the mirrors are installed. I only just did one because... I just, there's really no need for two on a small bike like this. And I'll put the other one on my other project. But man, these were fairly cheap on Amazon. I mean, look at that install. That install is real nice. It fits perfect. It's really nice, low profile, but the mirror is actually still really big. You can see anything behind you. Um, they're high quality. They're all aluminum. And look at, they even fold in too for storage. So that's super duper cool. And yeah, I think that just looks absolutely sick with those bars instead of having that big obnoxious one that sticks up. I think that looks a lot better because it's way low profile and pretty much the whole cockpit is complete, but we still need that seat. And if you guys saw my last video, I went and sent away my seat to get reupholstered. Now, if you've seen my other 
build that I'm doing of that other Motovox drag bike that I'm working on. I actually kind of went a little crazy on it. I did some diamond stitching. I went all out. It looks super duper cool and it looks really good on that bike. This bike, I didn't want to go anything, you know, over the top or do anything too, too crazy or spend too much just because, you know, I don't want it to be, you know, too crazy or look, you know, the same as the other seat. So here is the seat. It almost kind of looks stock because I just did the red piping around it, but I swapped out all of the old vinyl for some nicer, higher quality leather that has foam padding on the back. So it's going to be even softer than before. So it'll be more comfortable than what it was before. And these seats are already pretty nice, I think at least. Um, so I got a uh, better vinyl material. It's just black, just like the stock one, except the design is a little bit different with the foam padding underneath, which will be way more comfortable, um, way more plush than the stock one was. And I also added the red piping all the way around just for a little bit of flair because I think it looks really good and it matches with my red accents. I don't want to go too crazy like I already said, um, but I think it's really nice and really subtle and I think it really matches the bike. So with all that being said, let's go ahead and get this thing installed. And would you check it out? All the wires are all nice and tidied up. This thing just looks outstanding. I'm so happy how it looks with the handlebars and everything else that I've done. And yeah, I'm just super pleased. I think it turned out really well. And I think it looks super sick. I don't know about you guys. Um, and that's pretty much the end of this video of the cockpit and seat install. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys comment, like, and subscribe. And stay tuned because the next video, we are going to be upgrading these busted, dusted wheels and tires with some newer mag wheels and tires with the snuff tires. And we are going to be replacing these, like, Harbor Freight wagon uh, tires. These are just no good. They're very harsh. They do last long. I'll give them that. But, yeah, they definitely don't look good. So make sure you guys stay tuned. The next video, we will be putting those on. And with all that being said, comment, like, and subscribe, and peace.